I was highly unconceived as I thought that my parents meant that I was just special to them. I never really believed in myself because on my first day of ele elementary school, I was bullied because I believed that if anybody believes in themselves and just let go, they would be able to, to fly, soar, such as my favorite bird species could. The first time I saw a cedar waxwing and red-winged blackbird soaring through the luminous sky and the white cotton candy clouds, I wondered if they tasted like cotton candy also. They just fly through the sky and across the never-ceasing horizon into, every, into the evening blood orange sunset. After that night on into my first day of elementary school, which was only a fortnight away from now, I have been standing on elevated objects around Mikasa and outdoors, as I focus on nothing else but trying to fly such as a nightingale in the sky. I was extremely optimistic at the time. According to a lot of pessimistic people I know, they would say that I was very persistent. They would say under their breath, or in low tune whispers that I just kept trying and trying and failed every time. The Book of Beauty. I was holding the big blue book in my small little hands. I saw my mom reading the book in her spare time. I always wanted to read it. I was sitting inside a building, the wall screen had faded and the floor was cold. Sitting down, I opened the book. I was pretty mad that I couldn't read the book. I looked out the window. If my mom was here, she would read it. She, she would read it to me, but she wasn't. Daddy said she was somewhere better with my baby brother. As I looked through the book, I stopped at the page. It was my mom. She was tall with brown hair, all the way to her shoulders. My dad said she was a model. I didn't know what that was. Looking at the picture, I kissed it and said, goodbye, mommy. I got up and walked away, the book in my hands. I was ready for what was coming ahead.